It's an inevitable fact of life that energy prices will continue to rise as we progress further into this century. Countries and ultimately factories around the world will face ever more stringent targets for CO2 emissions reduction. So it's vital that we use energy as sparingly and efficiently as possible for the sake of both economy and the environment. Approximately 10% of all electricity used in industry is accounted for by compressed air systems. And it's a thermodynamic fact that around 94% of this energy gets converted to heat. Heat that we first pay to generate, then pay again to remove by powering cooling fans, whilst in other parts of the factory we pay yet again to generate more heat for hot water, heating systems and application processes. There has to be a more efficient way of using this energy. Well, there is. Under ideal circumstances, 94% of the heat energy generated by compressors can be recovered and Compare's range of heat recovery systems can help in utilizing that energy which would otherwise just go to waste. The principle of heat recovery lies in transferring the heat of compression into a cooling medium and then transporting the medium to where the recovered heat can be made use of. Within a compressor, the heat which is created by compressing the air is absorbed by the cooling oil. The oil, which is now hot, is circulated by pressure and flows through the plate heat exchanger. The heat is then transferred to the incoming water supply, heating the water at the same time as cooling the oil. The hot water can then be delivered for any application where heated water is required, such as steam generators, washing processes, boilers, heating systems and many more. Every degree that we raise the temperature of water needs to be paid for. So if we have a water supply that is already 60 degrees Celsius higher than the standard water supply temperature, that's 60 degrees of heating that we don't need to pay for again. Preheating water for your heating system, hot water supply or for use in industrial processes such as steam generation can provide significant savings and pay for itself very quickly. Additional heat that isn't captured in the cooling oil radiates into the canopy and exits the canopy roof as hot air. This hot air would ordinarily go to waste, but by installing heat recovery ducting, the hot air can be diverted to a different part of the factory. You can even switch the air to be diverted outside during the summer if it is not required inside the building. Installing a Compare heat recovery system can be surprisingly cost-effective and could be one of the best decisions you make this year.